Parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids to Differentiate Between Using the Letters O-W and O-U. They often make the same sound, so it is important to teach kids tips to differentiate between them. Both O-W as in how and O-U as in ouch make the same sound, ow. Since both O-W and O-U make the same sound, choosing which to use is confusing. The purpose of this video is to teach kids a few tips that can help them to determine when to use O-W and when to use O-U. These are three tips kids can use to help them determine when to use O-W. The first tip has two parts. Part one, use the letters O-W when the sound ow occurs at the end of a word, as in how and cow. And part two, when it occurs at the end of a syllable in a word, as in flower, and cow girl. Tip two, when it occurs before the final L of a word, as in owl and scowl. And tip three, when it occurs before the final N of a word, as in gown and brown. Using the letters, have kids complete the words and the syllables in words. These two are both part of tip one. The first column, OW, appears at the end of words. Have kids find the correct beginning letter or letters to make each word. The first word is how. The second word is cow. The third word is brow. And the fourth word is plow. Now have kids practice part two. O-W appears at the end of a syllable in a word. Our first word in the second column has two syllables. The first syllable ends with the letters O-W. So we need to find the beginning letter to make the word. When we put the letter P in front, we make the word powder. The second word also has two syllables, and the first one ends in O-W. So when we put the letters F-L in front of it, we have the word flower. The third word is also a two-syllable word, and it is also known as a compound word. The O-W is at the end of the first syllable, and when we put C in front of it, we have cow girl. Our last word also has two syllables, but in this word, O-W ends the second syllable. When we put B-R in front of the O-W, our full word becomes I brow. This is the completed practice page for tip number one, part one, and part two. Now have kids practice tip number two. O-W appears when it occurs before the final L of a word. Have kids practice this tip by putting the final L in each word in the first column. The first word is owl. The second word is foul. And the third word is howl. And the last word in this column is scowl. Tip number three. O-W appears when it occurs before the final N of a word. 
Now in the second column, have kids place the final N in each word. Down, town, gown, and brown. Now have kids circle the word in each sentence that has the letters O-W. Next, have them place a circle in the box that tells where the O-W occurs in the word. This is the completed example. Now introduce kids to the two tips for using the letters O-U. OU often appears at the beginning of a word and OU appears when it occurs before the letters ND. Now for tip one, we have four examples of words that begin with the letters OU. Ouch, outfit, out, and ounce. And four examples for tip two, when the letters O-U occur before the letters N-D. Hound, sound, round, and ground. All the words in column one begin with the letters O-U. Now have kids choose from the word bank the ending for each word. First we have out, then ouch, followed by ounce, and then outfit. The words in the second column follow tip two. O-U appears when it occurs before the letters N-D. So have kids write N-D at the end of each word. Hound Sound Round And ground Now have kids circle the word in each sentence that has the letters O-U. Next, have them place a circle in the box that tells where the OU occurs in the word. And this is a completed example. Now have kids circle the correct spelling for each word. With kids, look at the first picture and the two possibilities beside it. Remind them of the tip OU appears when it occurs before the letters ND. Circle the correct word. Hound is spelled H-O-U-N-D. Continue the same way with the next two examples. Plow and then gown. And this is the completed example. Now have kids circle the two words in each row that are spelled with the letters written. The first row you are looking for OU, the second row OW, third row, OU, and the last row, OW. And this is a completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you. And as always, I will leave a link for all the teaching templates in the description section.